Because as a victim, a past survivor of child labor, I know what it means for children to go through torture, abuse, and pain. Being born to a family of 12, and having been abused several times once I was working as a child fisherman, and during seven years of torture and slavery, it was just by dint of luck that I escaped. It's not just enough to get these kids out of these worst forms of child labor. There's got to be remediation, education. We've got to build schools. We've got to hire teachers. Uh, and uh, in many cases, uh, repatriating a lot of kids who have been trafficked uh, back to their parents. But we're not talking about kids who might work with their families in the family business or might earn, look to earn a little bit of money um, in, uh, on the side to, to do things. With. We're really talking about child labor that is dangerous, that is uh, morally, physically, socially harmful to these kids, um, and that may keep them from going to school. Or even if they get to school, they're so exhausted that they can't really learn. That's the kind of labor that we're all trying to end. If you ask any parent if he or she wants their child to be working, the answer is going to be no. It's a development issue. It's a law issue. There are so the, the problem of child labor is so multifaceted that approaches to addressing it need to be similarly multifaceted and similarly uh, nuanced. In the end, the uh, most effective monitoring, monitoring around labor rights violations and uh, child labor and the presence of child labor really happens at the workplace and it happens by workers. And that's why uh, full implementation of the International Labor Organization's core labor standards going beyond including the eradication of child labor but also freedom of association and collective bargaining are absolutely crucial parts of any long-term plan for corporate accountability and supply chains. Eliminating child labor is a double win because not only are we doing the morally right thing by getting children uh, out of exploitative situations, but we're creating jobs for adults, which in turn then drives down poverty, which is the root cause of child labor. There's good news. In the last decade, the number of child laborers has declined by one third according to the International Labor Organization, which is an amazing accomplishment. But there are still an estimated 168 million children who are working in child labor situations. And just for context, that's more than the population of the Philippines and Thailand combined. Half of those children are involved in these worst forms of child labor that are so dangerous to our next generation. We've made, I think, some significant progress, but we can't become complacent. So much more needs to be done. I am of the opinion that the few things that we are doing is in the right direction, but not enough. The time has come for all of us to rally together to say no to West forms of child labor. In this vein, I believe America has a leadership role to play.